The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) 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 The womb nuke. Uh, I see a picture I do of me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked, you'll love it. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, I have two excellent individuals. One just so happens to be an, a <laughs> member of my family, my best friend. Please welcome back Mr. Clayton hey slash, oh, oh, slash Fred. Fred. Uh, I'm like the DH of the podcast. Yeah, you kind of are. Here, talk what do the, I need to get? There you go. Talking, oh, wow. talking, do I talking, talking to rhythm. this thing? Yeah, you're more. doing it right this week, Mike. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> but anyways, uh, also another guest on the show, we have a uh, excellent stand-up comedian. Please welcome back Mr. Mike Baldwin. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Hi, fellas. Hi. How's everybody doing? Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I figured as much. Monday. Uh, yeah, but anyways, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to one of these comedy episodes, it is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports, and uh, inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Uh, this is also an adult podcast where you like to use foul language and offend people who have very thin skin, so if that's you, get out of here. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Pee pee in your own panties. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we do have an excellent show this week. We always have hot topics. Hot topics! Uh, we have overrated or underrated back again. We have that's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas, a draft. And as always, we like to wrap the show up with the shitty situation. But before we do that, we always like to tell you guys what's happened to us over the last week. We call it our week, week recap. And we are going to kick this off with Mike Baldwin. Bring it on. Oh, no. Yeah. I got to start. Yeah. It's been a it's been a while for you. So you should have tons of stuff. I got some stuff, I guess. Yeah. I found out that JP wasn't going to be here, so I, but I wanted to keep the marijuana levels at the, the same. Sure. So I got double high. Nice. Is that, is that even enough? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. JP's already <laughs> double high. Oh, no. I need to go do some more work. Yeah. Uh, what did I do? I went to Indianapolis. Yeah. Uh, I had, between me and uh, Taylor Swift, we sold 60,045 tickets <laughs> in, in Indianapolis. Nice. So, yeah, we did a, we're t- a good team. Nice. You know? so. Yeah. No, I was there for the end of the Eras tour, I found out. I was there to do comedy shows. Right. uh, Like a mile away. But Taylor Swift was at Lucas Oil Field. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, Doing a show in front of 60,000. And she did it Friday, Saturday, and the final show of the whole Taylor Swift tour in America was in Indianapolis on Sunday. So, dude, I saw so many inappropriately dressed older women <laughs> like it was it was to the point like because the first group of people that i saw were like a few moms and like a bunch of teenage girls and i was yeah. like ah, oh, it's gonna be like this all weekend but that was like the only group of that that i everything after that <laughs> was just like 40 to 50 year olds with glittery shit on oh, and God. like like tall boots and like short and yeah yeah. So, so you yeah. a ticket and went then. Huh? I I joked about it all weekend, but I was like, dude, if somebody was like, you want to go see Taylor Swift, I'd be like, kind of, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, I'm sure it would be a wonderful performance. But Jeez. so I did that. I did some comedy. Uh, what else did I do? I don't I don't know. I made fish sticks. Oh yeah, L- like made them. Oh, like homemade. Yeah. Well, I mean, I took like. Did you go catch the fish? That's the part where it's not <laughs> homemade. Yeah. No, I just bought like fish fillets, and then I was like, "Let's be wacky." And oh, nice. So I cut it into fish stick shapes. There, there was a there was a fan that did have a question for you. Um, he wanted. Was to it m- about how to make fish sticks no, from scratch? No, it was. It was I got it. <laughs> it was not. Okay, what's the question? Uh, a lot of people actually wanted to know when you're going to be uh, doing another show in wichita again 
I don't know. You don't know yet. I actually, I'm opening for uh, Robert Kelly at the something place. Yeah, I put you on the spot. That's what I do. Uh huh. Right. Yeah, <laughs> cut this part out. <laughs> That's what I do. Uh, what is that place called? I don't know. Uh-huh. Um, the Orpheum Temple Live. Oh, Temple, Temple Live. Live. Okay. Do you know who Robert Kelly is? Uh, his name sounds familiar. Yeah, he's been in like Louis C.K. stuff, and okay, uh, you you'd recognize him from shows. I'm sure. I don't know, but yeah. I know he's doing a show, and I'm doing like 20 minutes in front of him there. Yeah. Uh, I've never been to that place. Oh, and that's on. Uh, November 15th. There you go. Coming so up. So that's coming up pretty quick. Yeah. yeah, like the week after next or something. Nice. And so we're recording this on a Monday, but it won't come out until after yeah. when the election is. Right. So some people that are watching this, yay. <laughs> <laughs> and then other people like, that it was horseshit. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to catch everybody. Yeah. And, and I agree. <laughs> yeah. Whichever one Whichever you're thinking. One. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, how about you, Fred? What uh, what's been going on with you? Because you've been it's been a while it's since been you a were long on the time. I yeah, mean, the, the last time I was on here, our show got canceled. You know, JP whipped out his junk, and we had to yeah not post it. That's so. right. That, that's a uh, that's not what happened. <laughs> nah, I mean, it, agree to disagree, but <laughs> yeah, uh, not much. You know, wrapped up. So we're just been hanging out at the house. Um, we went to Disney together. Yeah, that, yeah that's, I can't remember. Yeah, yep, went to Disney together. Scott his first time. Now yeah. he's hooked. No, um, hooked. shit, man. I know. It, isn't it hard to? <laughs> it's like seeing somebody you haven't right? seen in a while. Tell me what you've been up to. And well, you're like, I don't know. But we, we had Halloween last week. Yeah. Like, I mean, did did you have kids come up to your partially abandoned uh, apartment complex and handing out candy? No, I, not that I know of, but the, <laughs> the light outside of my door doesn't work because when it rains, it fills up with water. Huh. And so I haven't had a light outside of my door in probably a year. Yeah. Oh, wow. And they're like, we're, we're getting, it's on the list of uh-huh. things. Yeah. Sure, sure it is. Sure. So I think Can't that turns those. away yeah. some people. You'd have to be, when I was a kid, I remember like the balls that it would take to go to the house that didn't have, have any light. lights yeah. on at all yes. and just be like, can we have some candy? And oh. they're like, the lights off dude and we're like but it's halloween, but it's halloween bro um fun memories of but yeah, that did you see any like good costumes no not really i saw um a lot of uh kids dressed as trump yeah which um, some were impressive some were clearly their parents like just putting an outfit yeah. on a baby or yeah. whatever but i saw a few kids that were doing like the impression and everything and then like 20 other kids dressed as secret service around them. <laughs> god that's good that was pretty that's cool, cool. i cool. thought yeah. yeah that's good but halloween's not what it was when i was a kid oh, no no oh, like no. i mean so many neighborhoods now like it, it i don't know if it's a real thing or if it's just because of the internet or whatever but like it it just seems like you don't just go to random neighborhoods it's it's unsafe oh yeah, yeah. you don't yeah. do that but no. when i was a kid when you totally did that 100 oh, yeah. percent. Gone all but night. now it's like gated communities or like a thing at the mall like in the trunk and yeah. shit. Yeah, like yeah. somewhere safe where everybody can keep an eye on it. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. And it's like, dude, I don't know if there's a real case of a razor blade ever being found in like an apple. Remember that? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. It was just Check a thing that parents needles. said to scare kids right. because parents wanted to look through their candy before yeah. they let take the kid the eat it to take out all the good shit. Yeah. 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 It's all, it's like, everything's horse shit. Yeah. Well, we went uh, we went over to Fred's house uh, for Halloween night, and they were passing out candy left and right. There were some there were some pretty good ones. There were some guys that dressed up as all the characters from SpongeBob. Yeah, they yep, were that all inflatables. Yeah, was, there was a kid dressed up as uh, Avery Johnson from uh, K State's quarterback. Yeah, yeah, that was really cool to see. Wife's a K State fan, so yeah. she yeah. liked that one. And- yeah. Uh, anything else? Did did you do anything over the last couple of weeks? Like, I mean, weeks? I'm sure I have, but nothing fucking valuable. I mean, I spent all day Saturday cleaning out my garage. Yeah. So that was needed. How did that, did you finish it? Uh, 92%. Yeah. 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 So you but, still got that where you're like, nice. Well, I got to get all the fucking trash out of there still. And um, why didn't you just get the trash out of there the day that you cleaned the other 92%? <laughs> well, I, I did. I took two loads out, and I've got the rest as trash days tomorrow. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. Okay. I accept that. Yeah. It'll be done. 
Uh, but no, you helped me with uh, with a video. First of all, everybody that listens to the show understands that I my least favorite holiday is Halloween. I've never been a big Halloween fan. You're so stupid. I just don't. It's not my thing. Uh, but I was required to come to uh, Clayton's house for Halloween as dressed as something. And so I did the, the very cheap thing of just finding one of my jerseys that I have upstairs and put that on with jeans. And so we go over to Clayton's <laughs> what house. Is that, what is that costume? <laughs> it's, it was Charlie Conway from the Mighty Ducks. So That's you're being Charlie Conway yeah. from the Mighty Ducks? I almost, if I had rollerblades, I would have done the the whole D2 skating through the fucking like mall uh-huh. scene thing. I would have done it, but I haven't had rollerblades in fucking years. So I just show up and then... We end up getting there, and we try to match with what Clayton and his wife were. And so we, there was another costume that we had. But everybody, I hope everybody saw it. Um, it was actually Clayton's idea. He was like, dude, you should go as Nunley and do a video or a TikTok and, and tag him in it. And I'm like, oh, man, that that sounds like, could we pull it off? And sure as shit, we were able to do a video Clayton is is laying on the ground as the dead dummy in the freaking bag, and then I do a shitty impression of Nunley. Uh, <laughs> At least but you're honest, uh, yeah. But it's still it was a lot of fun. I, I that that kind of shit I can get into. I think that it's a lot of fun for me to do that kind of stuff. Well, so. that sounds like fun, and I'll be the asshole. Who's Nunley? Justin Danger Nunnally is a, is a very popular guy on TikTok. And okay. he's, he's been a friend for at least a couple of years. He even called us for like Clayton's wedding when he got married. He was there. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Were you hammering? I was fucking hammering. I got a FaceTime, yeah. wasn't it? I made a huge what? mistake. Yeah, it was a FaceTime. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, was I'm fun. fucking drunk. <laughs> Aren't you also yeah. married? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyways, it was, uh, yeah, he's been a friend of ours for quite a while, and I'm and we're, I'm happy for him being successful. So we did that. Nice. Okay. Um, well, good. Nice to meet you, Natalie. Yeah. I, uh, I also uh, got to go see Mark Norman. He was in town over the weekend. Yeah. How was that? I probably drank a little too much. Did but you yell shit out? No, absolutely not. Okay. I'm not. I'm not that guy. I just cheer and laugh. That's, that's me. Yeah, that's Clayton. Mm. Um, but no, I. From what I can remember, he did very, very well. He he. Uh, it was at the Orpheum Theater. Yeah, I, I know because awesome. I I hosted the Wichita's funniest comedian contest like three weeks in a row, and we gave away a pair of tickets. Oh yeah. to Mark Norman during each show. So yeah, nice. I knew that it was taking place, and I knew that it was at the Orpheum Theater on <laughs> November second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Who were the openers? You have no idea. No. But I, were they funny, or I, were you even there in time? That's the thing, and I I'm the guy that likes to be there on time, or mm-hmm. if not, and on time to me is like half an hour early. Okay. That did not happen because I was going with a group of, of friends. It's all my snowboard friends that I go with, and uh, naturally pre gaming before going, and uh, that made us late and so uh we get there and it was still a great experience i love the orpheum theater it's it's like the is it the oldest theater in wichita i'm guessing but anyway it like it. it's a great venue we've gone to a couple of shows mm-hmm. there um that were like the the emo orchestra and that it's like the coolest fucking place in the world um but i but i thought norman was was great the few jokes that i can remember um um were killers so Re- recreate them for us now just as good as <laughs> no Norman i'm did. not burning material for the dude absolutely <laughs> not yeah um, he's he's a rapid fire punchline sort of comedian yeah and, and but but i think he does pretty well with crowd work too like uh-huh. i i really like that style i think more than somebody who has like a pure set and i think you're good at it too um like i've seen videos of you doing just crowd work and stuff Mm -hmm. and i I like how you do it because you're very sarcastic and and you have the same cadence and it's just like every time just like boom 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 thanks man mike Mike is funny.com there you go there's (laughs) your plug buddy every time i get a compliment that's not what i'm gonna say yeah uh and then the last thing that i i i think uh, this whole bourbon hunting thing is a fucking addiction. Um, I ended up going to a liquor store outside of town to go looking for good bourbons. Why? Because the rumor was they had a they have a good selection and it's pretty reasonable prices. And uh, it wasn't that far. It was probably like 15, 20 minutes of drive. It's not bad. No. 
Um, but I walked out of that bitch with four bottles Jesus of bourbon. Christ. Different kinds? Yes. Oh, yes. And have you tried all four of them at this point? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure they're, they're I, I have. Gone. And have you found a favorite? I, I still have the same favorite. Eagle Rare is still my favorite. It just has a better flavor. But um, I, ah, shit, I took pictures of them just so I could freaking. Do you think there's something them. else that you could maybe like uh, get excited about besides alcoholism? Yeah, guns. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. It's probably not the best habit, but uh, I got a single barrel pick, Old Forester. I got a Pen- uh, Penelope. I got um, Heaven Hill bottled in Bond and a Four Roses uh, small barrel select. And how much did all of that cost together? Yeah, we're going to move on after that one. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah no, not that much, but um, then not, I, th- sub three. We'll put it that way. That makes me better understand when people are like, the rich should pay their fair share. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm just like. In bourbon. I'm like, wait, what yeah. are you spending money on? Yeah, Do you I know. know how much we're struggling on right. this side of the river? <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> uh, but anyways. You can't I, even get a light for your porch. Yeah, no, I know. No see, four bottles you're whiskey. out fucking buying booze. Yeah, I am. Uh, but anyways, I did want to give a belated happy birthday out there. Uh, on October the 18th, it was... Uh, Zachary Rose's birthday and oh. his wife messaged us and we are, are terrible at checking our messages if we don't know who you are but eventually I get around to it and so uh, there you go Zach uh, or Zachary tell your <laughs> wife thank you okay did she have to send you a reminder message or no. did, did you just happen to see it and I you're just, like oh shit I just happened to stumble over it and normally if somebody you know takes the time to try and write a nice message mm-hmm. I will do my very best to read it especially Especially if it's like an honest or heartfelt thing, I will try to, you know, I'll read them. But um, if it's like sending me a video or something stupid or something, then I'm like, no. Nah. Yeah. Uh, but I don't like yeah. when people share videos with me that I'm not close friends Correct. with. Correct. Yeah. Like you that. Know? It's just one of those things. It's like, it's something either A, I've already seen it. Or B, all of my closest friends have already sent it to me twice. So it's like that. You know Correct. What I mean? You know yes. what I mean? And uh, I'm like, yeah. dude, you're taking up a, you're throwing a badge on my app, yes, on my phone for this a notification yeah. like, for something. This could be an emergency yeah. notification from anybody else. Yeah. But nope, it's just not all of them. Some of them are actually pretty good. So but I'm that's not how saying, I feel. Yeah, I it's get a, it. It's a percentage thing. It's like when people after a show are like, you want to hear a joke? Then yeah 98 percent of the time it's like dude come on <laughs> yeah you know? know yep that's but right. there there is that rare gem where there, you're like damn dude while, yeah. i'm glad you ran every sent once me in that. a while yep uh but do want to give a reminder uh, wichita's funniest person contest qualifying rounds go are going on through uh i believe this week i think is the last one i think Some it's wednesday uh, wednesday the, night is the, the day, last night the day that this is coming out is the last night. So if you, you are interested, time. Yeah. Not, not the last night of the whole contest. No, just for the uh, entry. The last yeah. chance to do the open mic right. to be one of the top three that moves on. And that's Correct. that's what I joked every week because the the top, the funniest three of the night get to move right. on to the semifinals. So they don't have to participate in the next several weeks right. of the preliminary round. So I joked every week like, well, the three funniest are gone, so you guys have the like the other <laughs> ten less funny. And then the Me. following week, I was like, all right, so the six best, they will not be in this show. You're getting seventh or worse quality here tonight. And by the time I got to like the third or fourth week, I was like, dude, now I feel bad. Just being <laughs> yeah. like, these guys ain't even These's in the top suck. 12. Uh, but the finals are on November uh, 20th, and I think that is at Wave. So um, keep your eyes peeled for that. It's fun. Yeah. And by the time you get to the semifinals, everybody in the thing is, is, funny. is pretty good. Yeah. 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 Uh, but as we always like to say, guys, uh, the cheapest way to support this podcast is to to leave us a like or drop a comment. Uh, if you have any questions throughout the entire uh, episode, come on, ask them. That helps. Uh, that's help us. It's helping us grow. Uh, again, thank you to all the new subscribers on Instagram. Uh, it's been it's it's been growing quite rapidly. So thank you guys very much. Uh, but now we're gonna get to hot topics. Yeah. What are they? We got quite a, be careful. We got we got quite a few, and I know I know uh, Fred is not the biggest um, 
news follower no sports follower well oh, yeah i got i got one bit to throw in today oh let's that, go let's start um, off with it potentially by the time this airs yeah my wife might knock you down a peg in fantasy so oh that's I gotta, true I, I gotta put that public yeah that's true so she told me that she's fighting for it i i am and it depends on tonight i am not uh i am not winning right now uh and i need cream hunt to have a thousand points so that's what i need it, so it could happen just, i mean it could, could I, it happen. really could I wonder if that's what like God feels like. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> right. the most important thing is for me to win fantasy. But no, no, but I mean, God is just like, all right, I need Mike to to really get his shit together today, and if he does that, then the like the Earth will turn out fine. Yeah, okay. And he's just watching me sit on my recliner watching TV, <laughs> and he's like, "Come on, Mike, yeah. fucking." I can uh, create you. I can't control you. I, I did want to kick this one off with probably one of the most amazing plays I've ever seen in my entire life. The Philadelphia Eagles end up beating the Jacksonville Jaguars. But Saquon Barkley did the, like the a jump, spinning, the backwards jump. spinning backwards hurdle to avoid a tackle. And it, it it's one of the craziest. And it's only gained him another like three yards. Right. But it was still the athleticism and the, the having the wherewithal of whatever – people are around you and the spin beforehand and i the mean was timing just, of the spin yeah was perfect to where he legitimately backwards hurdled over a dude who was trying to tackle him he did like Amazing. five things in a row that would like really hurt me yeah yeah <laughs> exactly. you know what i mean yes. he was like i'm gonna run 40 miles an hour in this direction stop completely and yes. then spin the other direction i could just see my ankle just being like clean oh yeah like, i would oh. be so hurt hurt not to mention i can't jump that high anyway so i am getting laid the fuck out on that tackle so i thought that was amazing i uh, hope you guys enjoyed that too because i'm not an eagles fan but that was fucking cool yeah good good displays of are, athleticism yes there you go. it doesn't matter who it is right uh i did want to obviously bring up my favorite team uh, the Detroit Lions go into Lambeau and beat the Packers in bad weather. Apparently, they may be the real deal. Hmm. I'm, I'm coming around to saying, like, being an optimistic person, because, God dang, they look good. What they are the do. What, what's the record? Seven and one. All right. Yeah. The Chiefs are scaring me. As, well, by the time this comes out, yeah. they may not be. But what are they now? Right. Six and oh, seven and oh? Seven and oh. Like, they... if. Basically, I'm like, all right, so if they don't win the Super Bowl, then what the fuck are we doing? Uh, I think that that is a very good possibility for the Super Bowl. It's well, going to be the, the Lions and the Chiefs, and which is my favorite team versus my least favorite team. And so that's the only part. How do you not like the Chiefs? Because I live here. Because too many people like them. Yeah. yeah. You just got to like the thing that. There you go. Is it in your way? No. Oh, every time I touch yeah, it. No, it's because you want to talk into that. No, you're, you're Quinn, jacking off the don't. microphone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Did you Dork. see that story the other day of Trump just being like, like leaning towards a mic and everybody's like, look, he's acting like he's blowing it. No, that I was like the see. viral thing of the day. Oh, Jesus. Uh, but yeah, so uh, it's I don't know. I'm I'm very pumped for the Detroit Lions. Uh, there was a lot of other weird shit that happened. Puka Nakua did the one thing I I don't understand why players do. He used his hand to try to punch somebody who was wearing a fucking helmet. Mm. Why? I don't understand yeah. it. It's the dumbest shit in the world. And he got ejected for it because you're not allowed to throw punches. Did he hurt his hand? I don't know, but I just don't get it. I, I mean, is it like your your response, like your body's reaction if you want to hit somebody, even if they're wearing a damn helmet? I just don't get it. It's just dumb. So, And then he gets ejected from it. Or from the game. Did he get suspended, or is he back uh, next week? I don't know. I haven't really heard if he is going to get suspended. I'm sure he's going to get fined, but I bet you he'll be back. Uh, the next one, uh, the uh, the Falcons. The Atlanta Falcons end up beating the Cowboys, making the Cowboys 3-5 and five in an absolutely terrible season for the Cowboys, which makes me ridiculously fucking happy. I love that. Weren't they, they, like, really good in the last 90s year. or something? Oh, yeah. They were supposed to be pretty decent last year, but they always have that stereotypical, like, expectation of getting to the playoffs and losing the very first game. I think Dax won one playoff game his entire career there. but That was the uh, Chiefs for a long time, too, mm -hmm. which yep. is why I'm a big – I'm not a – I don't follow everything, but I'm more of a Chiefs fan than I am an anything else fan, sure. you know? Yeah. But, I mean, dude, I can remember just year after year, like, Chiefs made the playoffs, first game of the playoffs. Playoffs. Oh, we lost. Like more than once. 
Sorry. So, I see. I don't even. I don't mean to. I I got made fun of, be, or I got yelled at because I keep on vaping on the show and I do it right into the microphone. And so a couple of listeners were like, "Quit fucking doing that shit." And I'm like, "I'm sorry. I don't even." Yeah, yeah. Both I don't you guys even fucking vape. Guys. I don't even. I don't even mean to. I don't smoke electric. I only smoke acoustic. That's fine. That's, That's good. a great way to put it. That is a great way to put it. That's what I thought the first time I heard it. And I was uh, like, I'm stealing that and saying it out loud. Uh, okay. Mikeisfunny.com. <laughs> <everybody. laughs> uh, Saints head coach Dennis Allen was fired immediately following the loss to the Carolina Panthers. He wins. The, the Saints won two games in a row out the gate and haven't won a game, single game since. So he, he gone, and I'm not the least bit surprised about it. I mean, that. is that his fault? I mean, I know he's the main guy in charge, yeah, but like, yeah, kind of. So there's something that he's not doing, yeah, and it's making his guys be like, I don't even want to try hard. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's just, uh, and the thing that sucks is that's a really good organization to want to coach for. They they've been pretty decent the last, you know, like five <clears throat> five to ten years. So I, it doesn't really shock me if there is a if there's a coach that's out there that's looking for a job. That's a pretty good area to target because it's a pretty decent organization. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, but now to the fun stuff. This is the fun stuff. That, I don't know if you guys that, saw that was me off. That I, was know, fun. I, I know, but I don't know if you guys saw this. But did you see Jason Kelsey spike the phone? Did you hear about this? I did uh, not. I did see it. Jason Kelsey gets verbally harassed and even pushed to the ground by some fan. And Kelsey ends up grabbing the dude's phone and spiking it through the fucking street, like, and, boom, and like, like apparently said the uh, the word we refer to for JP sometimes, or he refers to himself cigarettes. that cigarettes. Yeah, cigarettes. That's a good way <laughs> of putting it. Um, but yeah, he ba- but it wasn't him calling the guy uh, pa- uh, a cigarette. It was him saying who's the cigarette now because apparently the fan called him uh, called his ci- brother oh called his yeah, called said, kelsey said, uh, what's man. it what's it like Travis? having a, a cigarette brother dating taylor swift or wow. something like that and yeah. kept going on and on and on and huh no i heard none of this story <laughs> yeah but. so and there, there's video footage of it out there and i always thought that like travis kelsey and jason kelsey just seemed to be just regular cool dudes you mm-hmm. know probably really mellow Fuck, Jason's gonna kill this dude if he didn't destroy that phone. I've never seen. I've seen. So he Jay- was. Was he trying to like delete f- footage or something, or no. he was just? No, no he, he just. He, he just was got mad. Tipped over the edge. Yeah, that guy yeah. kept heckling him, heckling, heckling him, and then heckling pushed him. Jason to yeah. the ground. Just out in at a bar or something. Uh, like, like, or, walking down the street. They're walking down the street, like almost like they were going to a game. Or something like that. And it was in broad daylight, and he did. He fucking gronk spiked that phone. I mean, I feel like that's something that you should teach kids at a young age. To, of like, to like spike a phone into the street? Yes, how to hit it right so it just, <laughs> just completely shatters. shatters. No, know. like, you, that you don't attack somebody for saying stuff. Yeah. And then it's like, but people are going to say some really bad, crazy stuff. Yeah. You can't fight them I for, agree. I agree with for you. that. I think I don't know. I agree with you, but there's that's that. Uh, moving on to the next thing, which uh, uh, I don't know if you guys heard about Peanut and Peanut the Squirrel. And that Fred I did raccoon. hear about. No. Poor fucking little fellas. All right, that is fucking ridiculous. Very yeah, ridiculous. that that is fucking Please. ridiculous. I can totally understand. I guess the main thing was was because you're not allowed to have pets in this building or something of course well, it was, who knows what it was but, but it's one of those it's, things where you're like look the rule is yeah i'm not supposed yeah. to let squirrels in here but right you got a pretty fucking cool, cool squirrel, squirrel right so we're gonna just look the other way and there and it was some lady who who called and complained to and that was when the cops came out to his house destroyed the inside of his house looking for these two animals like there's pictures of shit just everywhere drawers taken out of uh like cabinets and stuff just an absolute mess wouldn't they just be like sir can you get the squirrel right, yeah that's what i thought but no they went in and the, ripped out they drawers raided you know, his what house squirrel. what agency was this uh the, the new it was new I, york I, something PD, i thought no it's well, not they, they, they got the pd involved but it was the uh like animal control the, yeah animal control and conservation oh well, god uh, well, then the other wildlife shit. The, I think there there was a, a woman that did something, wasn't yes, it? Yes, she, it was, she, she was in charge, and she was the one. She re, or she 
received the complaint, and then she gave the order to go and and kill these fucking animals. Well, they didn't kill them initially until one until somebody got bit by one of them. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah, and they, they were like, maybe it has maybe rabies. It has rabies. And they're like, well, there's it. only one way to find out. Yeah. God, fucking idiots. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is how stupid. This is the next Harambe bullshit. Well, and the the lady that called it in, she was from Texas. This is so stupid. She was. What a fuck. How many states away? What a fucking Karen. So aggravated. That's so ridiculous, man. Yeah, yeah it is. It, it, <sighs> People suck. Like, Any, anytime an innocent something gets hurt or killed, it's like common sense would have prevented this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, nowhere along the line was anybody like, are you fucking kidding me? Come yeah. on. Yeah. Where? Yeah. When did it come up with, like, hey, Kill him as opposed to, hey, let him go in the woods. I just. Well, the dude tried uh, to let it go in the woods. And he so came back, yeah. But, it uh, got like no, it, injured and he he fixed it. Yeah. And then he was like, go, be free. And the thing was like, what? No, I live here yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You keep feeding me and you took care of me. I want to stick around. We're going to be best friends. And then he was like, uh, apparently he was really popular on TikTok and shit like oh, yeah. that too. So, mm-hmm. oh, people. Oh, yeah, be a big but what? Coming. But I besides bet. that, what? I mean, <laughs> nobody's gonna. I guess what did anybody do for Harambe though? Either other than right. just be pissed about it. Yeah, yeah the, I think it'll be pissed, and there will definitely be talk of overreach and things like that, which I I agree with. Yeah, but I hate the fact. I always I always say, um, people who treat animals well are probably pretty good people. Genuinely, if they treat them like shit then they're probably bad people. So I'm I kind of ha- I'm kind of mad about this one cuz I'm a big animal person. I like I love animals. Well, no matter what. Like, I like small animals too. Yeah. But I also don't like it when fucking uh, authoritarian assholes come and raid your fucking private property and destroy it either. That pisses me mm-hmm. off. Yeah, that upsets me as well. God. But anyways, uh anybody else have anything on that? Well, there's just so much we can get into on it, but like yeah. the, my biggest thing is how I understood it, he didn't have a permit to have those animals. So instead of saying, hey, let's have a meeting, you need to have these permits, let's yeah. work this out, or you can hand them over, they raid his house. Yeah, that's like, ridiculous. There was no discussion about any of it, just raid. That's crazy. That's yeah, so we should have a, there should be a, a higher threshold for why you get to do a raid. Exactly. 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 What's the threshold? Like a warrant for like something like that? Uh, no, I mean like you should have to be like a murderer or something. Uh, yeah, and that or, requires a warrant, or maybe so. like hard drugs or something like that. Like then Ugh, you can do that. a raid, maybe. But yeah, but whatever it is, if you're, this is ridiculous. Very. So if you're dangerous to society, uh, no squirrel has ever been dangerous, dangerous to, to society. society. Yeah. yeah, I mean. I've always heard stories of rabid squirrels, but I just thought that was like a fucking myth or yeah, but something. Not living in somebody's house. Yeah. Not, no. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Wouldn't it suck though if if is because rabies is contagious? Yeah. If you bite somebody, I don't know. I, I honestly well, don't that's know. How zombies start? That's right. exactly yeah. what I was thinking. Like, right. are zombies that different than rabies? I don't know. If it just went nuts, like I just know if you get rabies, like you become like you can't drink water. You you become. Uh, I don't know what it's call, called, but like, but you definitely die. You die after it's like a, it, it's like a very high percentage. Once you get to that point, I can't remember aquaphobic, I think is what it's called because you, you will try to Phobic drink is a fear. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. I would, I would overcome hydroponic, it. something like that. I fucking don't know, but like, no, it gets, hydro, you, it, that's why you don't drink water. Cause you're just like, no, no, you try, get you a, fucking try to swallow it and you will throw it the fuck up. Your like body. Your body is won't rejected. let you. Yes. He just wants brains. It's fucking crazy. I would overcome that oh, also. Man. If I ever get rabies, I'm going to fight it. <laughs> okay. Let, it let us know how I goes. will. It'll be easy because uh, I'll be able to. All right. All right. What's the next thing? Last and uh, certainly not least, uh, when this episode releases, we probably still won't know who the president of the United States is going to be. I don't know why I picked I that say, one. Why the hell did you clap? I think we're going to have more of that one. That's the one. I predict that we will know. Uh, that would be cool. I would be uh, I would be happy with that. It just blows my my mind. And I don't want to get on the politics side of it, of, of left or right, but what absolutely drives me nuts is that we do not have the capability of, of being one of the 
uh, I don't know, technologically advanced countries in the world, and somehow other countries can count all of their ballots in one night. And a lot of them use paper ballots. But we in the United States are saying it's going to take two fucking weeks. I don't. I don't get it. I so don't, something where like 11 to 13 days is what Arizona said. Yeah, but if enough <laughs> other swing states go in a particular direction, then you won't need Arizona yeah. or Not Pennsylvania yeah. or something like that. So it could still be called. But they just have different laws on their mail-in ballots and stuff. And like they don't start counting them until they've counted all the other ballots. And they have weird laws in, I don't remember what state, but it's like <clears throat> the... You can put the thing in the mailbox on election day. Yeah. So it doesn't even necessarily have to be postmarked by election day. It can be postmarked a day or two mm -hmm. after that. So they're saying, like, dude, it could take a week for us to get That's all of these sad. things in the mail. But I don't know. The numbers aren't as big as they were in 2020 as far as people mailing in their votes. Yeah. So it could yeah, easily be decided on election day. Okay. I see. But it's the swing states are all that matter. I mean, if. Sure. If he wins, oh, what, three? If he wins Michigan, Wisconsin, I mean, there's a thousand different. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, but then, you know, if you win a certain number of the swing states, sure. the other swing states don't even matter anymore. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, hope, I'm hoping that we know by the end of the day tomorrow. That would be great. But. Yeah, it I would be. Yeah, whatever. But. Uh, I guess when this episode releases, I was going to say, go out and vote if you really care about this shit. Yeah, get out there. But the thing is, is you can't now because it's Wednesday. But I you mean, can well, vote next time. Exactly. No matter what, you need to. everybody needs to vote. That's our only voice. You know, there's a lot uh, of people that don't vote. That's me. Well, the, the day after I normally don't. the election, I think a good thing you could do is look <laughs> into how to run for something in your local government. If oh, you don't cool. if you don't agree with the mm -hmm. way shit's going, like I become part of the solution. Yeah, exactly. Plus you get some money and stuff. And I don't think they make you take a drug test. <laughs> oh, they don't. I don't know actually. I, I, Probably I should, state by state. Not? I should look into that cuz I want to run for something. You could. You're a very appealing individual, Mike. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but Mike, anyways, Mike is funny.com. There you go. Mm -hmm. But ladies and gentlemen, that was hot topics. Those were hot. Now we get to move on to fun. And these may or may not be related to Erection Day. I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, thank you guys for participating in Monday, Friday. Uh, we had some good ones. We had some really bad ones, too. But I tried to pick the ones that were the best, but you never get what you want. Uh, we're going to kick this off with Tom McDonald in Overrated or Underrated. He wants to know, Overrated or Underrated, Sniffing Your Own Farts. I thought he was asking if Tom McDonald was overrated. Or underrated. <laughs> and I think he's underrated. Uh, I, I like I that would guy. agree. I like Tom McDonald. Um, I don't I, like, I, I don't know. This is kind of tough. What I was guess. the, I forget. You, oh, smelling your own farts. Yeah. I'm not, it, it depends, dude. Like I'll still give myself a little like, <laughs> <laughs> if it's a good one you know but sometimes it's like wow man that sucks that i have to go be around people right now because that's <laughs> fucking nasty what just came out of me yeah and like i don't know like if it's your own brand you're not you're like disgusted near as bad but there are definitely times wherever there's ones that will evacuate your home and the, <laughs> those are like my favorite because it's just, oh my God, that's so terrible. And my wife is complaining, but it's like, eh, it's funny. So yeah, that's my answer. Yeah, they're funny, but it's also still millions of shit particles floating <laughs> Bingo. through the air. Bingo. <laughs> that's true. Bingo. I can remember my brother-in-law just like cupping his hand and like farting into his hand <laughs> yeah. and being like, here. Yeah. And, and I just cupcake. caught like a full like handful of handful fart. Of shit. Absolutely. Give me rabies instead <laughs> how about you fred i mean overrated dude there's nothing i mean i'm so regular that mine don't stink this is true so when it when it does stink i'm like that's a turd knocking time to go <laughs> yeah so that's a, but i'm not a gonna sit there knocking. i'm not gonna sit there and fart and then go <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. like the same dude that Beef can stew. suck his own dick can smell his smell own farts, 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 <laughs> yeah. direct that's, from the manufacturer that's, that's so gross yeah, uh, it is gross, which yeah. is why it's overrated. Yeah, I think you're Quit right. Quit being uh, gross, Tom McDonald. dusting, on the other hand, is excellent. underrated. There you go. That's underrated. Correct. Always That's correct. do that. Absolutely. Did you answer, Mike? 
I don't remember, but it's fucking gross. Go okay. to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one comes in from Chris Tyson. He wants to know, overrated or underrated, talking about politics? I think it's underrated. Okay. I think there should be more. The, the solution to problems is not censorship. It's more talking. <laughs> You want to be able to be like, well, here's what I think. And then somebody else can be like, no, you're fucking dumb. You got to think like this. And then you drive home in your car and you think like, yeah, I mean, he's not 100% wrong, I guess. And sure. th then the next time you see him, you're like, hey, maybe we can find some middle ground or whatever. But when one guy says one thing and the other guy says, shut the fuck up. That gets nobody anywhere. Yeah. I, I, I definitely I, you're valid, valid point. I, I, I love I hate talking politics uh, with certain uh, people that don't want to have a conversation and just want to scream at you that yeah. I dislike that very much. But I love talking to people who are different than me because I, I want to be as open minded as I possibly can to swing with with what they have to say. But I also think that it sucks that now that we live in such a divided country with opposing ideas that we we can't even sit there and have a basic discussion. It's it's just it's so difficult. And I a lot of people don't know this, but believe it or not, before I started doing this show, I did a political podcast for uh for a year. And yeah. I, and I really enjoyed doing it. It's just at the very end of it all, it just beats the shit out of you. you I mean, it you just get oh, so yeah, he was pretty hateful. Oh my god, it was so bad. You just get so wrapped up into it and I'm just like, okay, I'm done. So I stopped and I've been doing this ever since. And it's a comedy show, which I really enjoy doing. Man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man. Thanks, man. Uh, Somewhat classified as comedy. Right. Uh, but yeah, how about you, Fred? I mean, exact same. You know, I, I, I would love to talk politics with anybody. And I don't need proof, your facts, your this, your that. But, you know, the, the biggest one, like you both said, is it's a, it's a conversation. Yeah, we can get heated about it, but you need to give me my time to talk. I need to give you your time to talk. And we need to go our separate ways think about it maybe come back again That's, yeah it's it's never gonna hurt to talk yeah, yeah. But what hurts is that divisive language that just yeah fuck you fuck you you're or stupid s silencing on the other side <clears throat> yeah trying to silence yeah. somebody from from have being able to have a rebuttal it's it that's frustrating and that's you know scary i, so, yeah. I mean i think that's why people on the right are becoming the free speech people now because what blows me which blows me away the because the the left used to be the biggest uh like free speech and stuff like that sure and now it's all censorship it's so it's weird but people only want i say people generally but only want free speech when they agree, agree with, with the exactly. speech it's yeah. really hard to yeah. And that's why the, like the, what was it called? The ACLU and whatnot, like mm -hmm. back in the day, we're like, no, like let these clan guys, these Nazi guys do their stupid rally or whatever down the middle of the street. Like yeah. that's their right. Like, mm -hmm. and everybody collectively was like, disagreed what a bunch with of fucking them. Idiots. Yes, yeah. exactly. And that was good. And so. yeah, right. Because if they had been like, no, you can't, then yeah. that they would have like passed out flyers and shit and been like, we're being silenced by the government. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Help fight back. And yeah. that's how you get people on your side. Yeah. But to just let you go out there and be like, we're superior. And people are like, we're not like, <laughs> dude, we're all fucking broke together. Right. Like, yeah, no shit. Yeah. You can't say it like that. And that's the thing too, is like if, if they're marching in a parade, you don't have to attend it. Yeah. I, you I don't agree. have to be around it. So right. let them do it and don't give them attention. That's right. It's pretty fucking easy. Uh, next one comes in from the belated birthday boy himself, Zachary Rose. He wants to know, overrated or underrated, lighting off a homemade firework after your team wins the World Series. I get the joke. If some of you don't get the joke, there was a uh, dude that blew his hand off. Yeah. Ugh, did I you see the, that? Did yeah, you see the unblurred version? Nope. No. Okay. Nope. Kind of squeamish. Oh no, that's no. You don't do that shit. Yeah, yeah. That uh, that's overrated. I'm just gonna say that. Yeah, yeah and it's yeah. fucking dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fucking bad. Dumb. Bad, don't, dumb. Don't don't do that. No. That's don't dumb. even lie. To, uh, at least get. Uh, the long light, like the thing that you use to light candles and shit. Yeah. Give yourself that much distance <laughs> at something. least. People are lighting them with like the the torch lighters and shit. 
Well, not only that, I think he was lighting off like a class, like a class B firework, and holding and it in, holding his, other it in hand. his hand. Yeah, but those things you don't realize those fuses are lightning. They like it's like that long of a fuse, but and because it just goes, no, it's like <laughs> it, it's it's an accelerated That's what fuse. I did. Well, how oh, was your zoop faster I, than my zoop? Just barely, just barely. Whatever. All right. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's not good. Uh, next one comes in from Cody Adkinson. He or Adkinson. He wants to know, overrated or underrated? Bicycle thief pranks where the thief gets karma. Fucking love them. Love them. Love em. Give me more of them. I saw one the other day where they had a spike coming out of the seat, and yes. I didn't like that. Yeah, that I, seems like too much. I don't know. The my I mean, favorite depends how deep it goes. True. Yeah, deep enough that they like <laughs> jumped up. You know, like. Painfully, well, I mean, a they, quarter inch. I'm going to jump up yeah. still, but I I've seen ones where the handlebars come off before, and I think that's the good one. No, like they I come like off the after you yeah. get going a little bit, so then you there's nothing you're going to do but crash. Yes, yeah. Th- those are my favorite. The ones where it's like leaned up against a tree, and it's got like something tied to the actual bike, so dude just starts taking off trying to run to steal this bike, and all of a sudden it just stops on a dime. Oh and dude God. goes over. <laughs> Over the handlebars, but see, I'm starting to think: are these are these videos real? Or are they just skidded? You know, probably I don't know. Both. Yeah, there's probably you know. so plenty yeah. of areas I, where I you. There's people like we can get those views. Let's go do it. Yeah, exactly. So, but I mean, they yeah. still put a bike in an area where they know a person's gonna be like, "Hey, a fucking free bike." Yeah, yeah. Let's take it. Yeah, maybe. and and I don't. I guess it teaches society like no. Mm-hmm. That's I've heard stories of, or I actually saw a video of a guy. I think it was in like Abu Dhabi or no, like the Arab Emirates or something. Yeah. Is that the same place? And he leaves and all of his shit on top of his he, car. Yeah, his yeah. wallet, his phone, all his shit. He left it there and like went and had lunch or whatever, and then came, came back. back and like people know, dude, you're gonna get your fucking arm chopped off <laughs> exactly. if you steal anything here. So people are like, I'm not I stealing that nothing. Shit. Right. Like I, but there's a fine line between. Yeah. They say like you're you're not allowed to do cruel and unusual punishment, uh, but it doesn't say cruel or unusual punishment. Yeah. <laughs> it has to be both. It has to be really mean and also like what? what the fuck? <laughs> so yeah, like man. cutting off an arm, that's cruel, yeah, yeah, but it's not unusual. It's kind of unusual to me, dude. I don't know about you. I've ne- it's never happened to me. Okay, that's look true. at see what I can do. Both Whoa. both, both hands. There you go. It's a good robot hand you got there. Uh, last one uh, comes in from me, and that is overrated or underrated decorating for christmas the day after halloween i did it fuck you it's not even december yet i have one tree that stays up year round and i decorated after fourth of july i put the halloween decorations on it and now that halloween's over i've taken them down and now it's just officially a christmas tree again until after christmas after thanksgiving after Thanksgiving. And then, I, you know what? Even closer to Thanksgiving, I'm a little bit okay because a lot of people have you know family over for Christmas, Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. But like, no. No, man. It's it, fine. It's inside my apartment. Not, I'm allowed to do what I want. It's not <laughs> fucking Christmas Unless you yet. have a squirrel. Yeah. Then you can. Then you can. <laughs> so, yeah, just the, so you know. See, but this attitude is the same one that they had where you're like, you're not supposed to have a fucking Christmas tree. Go in. Go in there. Go in. Let me be clear. Take the Christmas tree. Let me be clear. You can do whatever you want. I just think it's dumb. Okay. Yeah, that's a okay. Well, yeah, so is buying four bottles of bourbon, but uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> I'm sorry yeah. that I just have a, a beautiful, well lit dining area. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Fred? I mean, you know, I I don't like it. Yeah. Um, I think we're related. At least hmm. at least give it a week, maybe two weeks after Halloween. Let me let me remember Halloween. Yeah. Because I like Halloween. Right? Yeah. You know, it, it's always up for Thanksgiving at our house, at our family's house, because we do a lot of those Christmases. Yeah. You know, and it, I like Mike's idea. I'm all right with that because it's changing throughout the whole year. A holiday tree? Yeah, a holiday tree. That's pretty cool. It you is. Know, I like it, actually. That. It's a, <laughs> it's a pretty cool thing. And oh, it's yeah. not huge. It's like three feet tall or whatever. It's on top of a table. So it's not taken up. It's right. Like, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. I get you saying. Yeah, so I like that. It just That's became right, a thing. I I acquired a tree, and I was like, 
It was that. It was like April, and I was like, I should probably do something with that tree. <laughs> I was like, I should either take it down and put it away, or I should decorate it different, you yeah. know. And then Keep from then on, yeah, it's been like eight, ten years or something yeah, that I've been doing it. A- works. Year uh, round tree. Ladies and gentlemen, that is overrated or underrated. Excuse me. Uh, now we get to move wow. on to is that bourbon. Huh? Nothing. No, it's water. Uh, but now we get to move on to that's where we draw the line, and JP's not here. Aww. Uh, but Play his song though. Snuffles. Oh yeah, we kind of have to. Yeah, just just for him in in his honor. Um, you no, get, I just, are you getting a little cold there? Uh, no, I've been I've been trying to get through uh, like kind of a sinus thing, but it just doesn't yeah, seem to want to. We go know away. we allergies, can hear it. Allergies, it just sucks. What uh, are you allergic to? Sorry, I am I know. intruding something on something in, in the in air? I just can't get everything. over everything. Yep, everything. I've never been allergic to anything. That sucks. But anyways, I'm fucking awesome. That's where I draw <laughs> the line. Uh, we're gonna kick this off with Dan Jones. He wants to know what is the maximum number of political bumper stickers or yard signs you should display fucking none 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 i mean i say you should i what i would do is zero i i'm not that guy mike on the other hand fucking line of them i'm not i'm not a sign guy necessarily but i've i have also seen some good videos of people that have 500 signs in their yard and like they're arranged in such a way where when you look at them from a certain angle, they make art and yes, shit, you know? I've seen that shit. Eh, you know, do whatever you want. It's your own. I never agreed with any of the, the homeowners association rules. True. I agree with that. Kind of stuff, you know? Yeah, I agree with that. I there's a, there's a house in our neighborhood that their entire garage door all year round, all year round. It's been that way since I've lived here. And it has like a political argument that they are trying to make, uh, on the front painted on the front of their garage door. Is it the same uh, political it, argument? Sometimes it changes. There is one for COVID and then there's a, there's a one that's been on there for about a year that, so they need to redo. I'll, huh. ta- I'll take you by it. You'll enjoy it. Yeah. I can't wait to hear how stupid it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're right. Trust the experts that's on, right. on a garage. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, they, they watch one channel. Yep. Uh, next one comes in from Tyler Plackey. He wants to know, how much is too much money to spend on a single bottle of alcohol? Well, Ooh, should we call your wife? No. Phone, phone, phone a friend? No. I think, I think uh, well, and Mike hasn't drank in several years. So nine. Nine years. So how wow. about, how about like a certain amount of weed for you? So if, if you buy a certain amount every single week, does the price fluctuate, go up or down? Uh, I mean, it depends on <laughs> like the quality. Kind of, I guess. I don't know. No, it doesn't really fluctuate that much. It's about fifty bucks anytime. Okay. I go and get. And it, is it like a like a quarter or something? Something like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Which lasts, you know, a few weeks or right. or, or less than a week, depending on if I'm sharing or sure or what smoking I'm smoking for JP. What else yeah. I'm doing? Yeah. Would you ever spend a hundred dollars on that? I mean, I it, it doesn't get in my opinion, which is why I mock your sure whiskey hunt or whatever because it's like dude just get fucked up <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's not about the like mm, this has a what a, but i will be Nutty. i'll be honest like when i hit certain weed i'm like mm, and now that tastes nice yeah but that lasts one second that's not yeah. worth it to me to be like give me the double the price thing yeah because i just smoke it and be like all right well now i'm high and i feel the way that i'm supposed to so yeah I, I for me it's a hundred bucks. It's a hundred bucks for, for booze for a bottle <laughs> uh, because I I've done it. Uh, I did it for Eagle Rare when we were in Oklahoma mm-hmm. at the lake. I drank it that night. I drank the almost whole, all of it that yeah, night, it. but it was delicious. And then I ordered it online and I got two bottles of it. And I don't want to touch it until I have like another two because it's that good to me. Hmm. Um, but yeah, like the other supposed to just enjoy the good things. Yeah. I just, I, I, I want to enjoy them a lot. So what's the most by. expensive <laughs> bottle of bourbon that you could buy? Oh dude, there's oh, they go they, five grand, six grand. It's and, insane. And has it been like aged for a thousand years uh, or that kind of shit? It's like, yeah, yeah 15, in, in 18, 18 to 20. It's, it's crazy. That's out there. And I will never, ever spend that much money on well, a you single say that bottle. now but 
Dude, no. I just you that. spend within your means. I saw a cool podcast or a video or something where they these girls were talking about like, all right, how much do you make in a year? And the girl was like thirty eight thousand or something like that. Yeah. And she was like, all right, so I'm gonna compare you spending money to Taylor Swift spending money. Sure. And so they were looking up prices of stuff, and she was like, all right, like a. A new Toyota, whatever, is fucking thirty eight thousand something dollars. It compared to how much money Taylor Swift has. If she was to go out and buy a new Toyota, whatever, it would cost cost her your equivalent of like six cents. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. true. Of you just being like, yeah, I think I got six cents on me. Like, right here you go. No, I get it. I get it. But I, I don't think I will ever get to that point. At least I don't think I will. All you have to do is make like 10 times as much money as you make right now. (laughs) I know, but that's financially stupid of me to do that. So that's why I probably won't. Okay. Well, how how about you, Fred? I mean, I don't got a leg to stand on. You know, I I agree like $100 is a lot. But if it's something you're really wanting, yeah. If if you're financially responsible, you know, not just digging yourself in a hole, fuck it. You know, like. One Do of my it. favorite tequilas is fifteen hundred dollars a bottle. Yeah, and I bought two of them. Yeah. What? So I, I can't fucking stand on anything nah, when I've done my, that. That was Michael Jordan, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've tried it. You it's bought Michael gracious. Jordan tequila? Oh yeah, yeah, dude. It's, Didn't even it's know. Great it's fucking shit. amazing. It's good shit. I feel it's like good. that's the like a sports equivalent of buying like a like Trump's golden shoes or something. Pretty yeah, much. you're pretty like much. It's Michael much. Jordan, dude. Yeah. yeah, but like everybody who's tried this tequila. It's like, that's good shit. It's some good shit. It's good shit. But again, I bet it still makes you go, mm, yeah. No, no, it doesn't. No. Really? No, yeah, it no, it doesn't. Just like water? Oh, it tastes like cream soda. Yeah. And it's the equivalent for me in Eagle Rare. Whenever I have a glass of Eagle Rare, most people that just drink whiskey and are just like, oh, God. No, for me, it's like, oh, it's so good. For me, that was part of the joy of drinking was yeah. taking a big swallow and then, and then going. <laughs> 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 nope, it's not like that. All right, uh, next one comes in from Braxton Lint. He wants to know, how many girls is too many to talk to at the same time? Okay, so like playing the field. How many, well, I, I've i always been a, a one chick dude. I've never, I've never talked to multiple girls at the same time. Mm, I have. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. I mean, but you're both married, right? Like, yeah, he was just married though in in this May. Year, yeah. So, so you were you were playing the field up until up April, until then, right? Yeah. yeah. Up, up until, until the then, day. Man, yeah. It was dry. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I like there. There is a limit, and that's how good can you lie? <laughs> and th- yeah. And then you realize. This ain't fucking worth it because they're all crazy. Right. So none. I'm That's pick this. They, yeah. If, if they want some, they'll find me. Yeah. But it's not about, I mean, I don't lie to any of them. I just kind of, uh, you know, like I'm, we're not officially anything yet. Ooh. See, that's even harder. That's, and that's even a better So question. I'm with Rebecca now, so I can't hang out with you. Who the fuck's Rebecca? Yeah. Well, we're not official. Yeah, that's true. No, but like, did you ever did you ever get asked the or get asked the question like, what is the acceptable amount of time from one relationship to the next? So, if you break up with a a girl yeah. one day, how many days is acceptable for you to go to the next one? It depends. You dude. get you several get a factors. Day for a month. A day for a month. A day for a month. Shit. Okay. But sometimes the relationship ends because you had sex with somebody. So then it starts right then. Well, yeah, but don't do that, Mike. That's I'm just bad. saying. If same, same opposite side. If she has sex with somebody, that negates the day a month. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100% yeah. with that. You can just go fuck you somebody go. immediately. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree with that. If if she cheats, gondo. Yep. See ya, out. Yeah, but I, but if I cheat, then it I made a mistake, and let's just talk about it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> like I knew I, she meant nothing to me, I swear. But all of those excuses. I mean, don't even know her name. I know, and she's like, "That's not better." <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> Anyways, okay, and uh, let's see. Uh, next one comes in from Reese Newland. He wants to know how old is too old to be president. It's not about age. We've talked about this before, haven't we? Like no. my like my grandma is ninety three, and she's the sharpest ninety three year old. Mm-hmm. And you can talk to her for hours, and there's no like 
cognitive decline or whatever. Yeah. But I also know some 40 year olds who were like, well, that, that them over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, dude, this guy could fucking never be, be president. Yeah. yeah for and it's sure. like, but he's only 40. Yeah. It's like, it doesn't matter. He's a fucking moron. I agree. I also do think, do you think there never needs to be any kind of a cap on it? Because they were depending on him to be a president for, for four straight years. Mm-hmm. Right? It's, no, I think it's a, it's a health thing. Like, a really decrepit 60 year old probably yeah. shouldn't run and but you still got to let the voters decide. You yeah, can't I be guess like that's, you're that's too true. unhealthy to run. That's yep. true. That's a good point. I like that answer. Uh, so, yeah. I, I I like Mike what Mike just said. You have to let the voters decide and that's that's that. I I, I, I like do that. agree with term limits. Yeah, I agree with that too. Like yep. you can't be senator more than 3 times in a row. Or, uh, yeah, these people that are up there for 40 50 years God, right it's now. That's ridiculous. And and that's a bipartisan <laughs> issue. Everybody agrees with that. Well, cuz they're all working for the same guy right. that's like, "Hey, we're going to give you a bunch of money if yeah, you Yeah, exactly. If you stay in and yeah, do what and they're we like, say. actually, you guys can vote to give yourselves more money if yeah. you'd like. No yep. kidding, and you don't even have to tell the people about it. <laughs> uh, did you answer, Fred? Sure, same thing, same thing. Okay, uh, I, same, cool. same thing. <laughs> That'll work. Ditto. Uh, last one comes in from Alex Shinover. He wants to know how many f bombs are needed for a movie to be a Samuel L. Jackson film. Mm. Thirty. Well, they're they're it's, mfers. Yeah, they are. They they definitely are <laughs> mfers. But uh, this is a, not a this is this is a unfiltered, I mean, uncensored podcast, th- motherfuckers. There needs to be thirty motherfuckers in that movie. I think twelve. But the thing that mm. sucks is there's one that he didn't say motherfucker one time. The Avengers. No, Star, Star Wars. Wars. Oh. No. But it's not a Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, I guess film. he did kind of say it at the cameo. end of Avengers. Uh, I don't remember. I'm not at a big the end of Infinity one. War. Yeah, uh, when he was getting right, vanished, when he was, he said, Mo! "Yeah, oh, I missed it." So he said half of that was like an after credit scene. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, th- I, I think it's a, it's a, not a Samuel L. Jackson movie unless there's at least twenty in there. I mean, I don't care. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think twelve. I mean, so, let me tell if, you, if he's in it and he only does eleven, yeah, you got to sneak one in, bro. Yeah, you know, I mean, you I gotta, put in the credits. It, but it's like I don't consider Avengers to be a Samuel, a Samuel L. Jackson. L. Jackson movie. Yeah, right. Like Pulp Fiction is a Samuel L. Jackson movie, but yeah. even then, it's a John Travolta movie. I think m- more sure. equally at least, sure. or maybe even more. It's a Bruce Willis movie. Yeah, exactly. When it really comes down to it, that's right. Uh, but yeah, let me tell you that that's where I draw the lines this week. We're slim picking. So, uh, guys do us a favor, help, help us out. We want to, uh, give you guys credit for stuff being on the show. If you think of something, comment, it helps us out a lot. I appreciate it. Even if you don't think of something, if you write a comment, then that makes the computer inside of Facebook go, Oh, people Just want to this see to this. Yeah, the algorithm yes. helps. But anyways, that's that's where we draw the line. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. I know we're going a little long, so I'm going to try to go as fast as we can. Go. First one uh, comes in from Tyler, HCO. He wants to know rejected campaign <laughs> slogans. That's what she said. <laughs> And that's what the sign says? Yep. That's just right. Everybody's yard. That's what she said. Patty Marshall. That's, that's what she said. Uh, God dang it. I'm trying to think of what he says all of the time, but I can't remember. But it's, Motherfucker. No, it's Ron. It's, just give me a line from Ron Swanson in Parks and Recreation. That's... Oh, basically any line from him. Government should not be involved in your life. A hundred percent, or something about something about like uh, like Canada sucks or some shit (laughs) like that. That'd be good. I could see like a Ron Swanson type guy running on the thing that if you vote for me, I will do nothing. (laughs) (laughs) I will change nothing. Uh, you got you got anything? Or are you going to go with that? Uh, yeah, that's okay. It. I will change good. nothing. There you go. <laughs> uh, next one comes in from Mason Lind. He wants to know worst ways to introduce yourself to an indigenous tribe in the Amazon. Wow! Sh- display your guns. Oh uh, no! Just helicopters. Like seriously, have you seen that island south uh, or what the fuck is it called? Yeah, with their like homemade bow and arrow yes. and shit, and they're oh, like, they, oh, they, they, like just terrified. God dang it, I can't think of the name. You guys know exactly what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's but that it, one. That's that one. But yeah, how they have like video of a helicopter like coming in and and seeing these people, and they were shot at with bows and arrows, and they actually hit the goddamn helicopter. Oh, really? Yeah, like, like it seriously. went into the helicopter. Uh, I don't know if it if it went into the helicopter, but I definitely know I've 
seen pictures of planes. Now, granted, I don't know if those are planes that flew over like them really low or something, but I know that there's there's like pictures of bows and or uh, arrows through aircraft that have gone. Wow, uh, Centennial Island. That's what it is. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, helicopters. I mean, it's the freaking same. Freaking the fuck out. They've never seen that shit before. That's how we would react if a fucking <laughs> UFO. spaceship oh, came 100%. down. Absolutely. We wouldn't freaking be like, I wonder if they're out. here to, to help us right. and be friendly. Nah. We'd just be like, kill them. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's see. Next one comes in from Tyler Plackey. He wants to know who would be the funniest write-in candidate on the presidential ballot. Don't. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. That's I mean, stupid. don't, but like Chris Farley. Yeah. People I, do, a certain number of people do Mickey Mouse every year. Every, every year. year. Which is, it's <laughs> stupid. I, but it's like, hey, go do. Go do you. Go do whatever you want, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I'm. That's an interesting thing to look up, actually. Like, what? who got the highest write-in? I bet it's I'm Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse. I can almost guarantee I'm you. I'm almost positive. But... Like I don't know, I just Charles Barkley. Give me some. Give me Sir Charles. Sir. No, it would have to be a, a fictional character. Oh, you want a fictional character? Forrest Gump, Wreck It Ralph, uh, <laughs> I, or w- whatever uh, Kevin Spacey was in the the Netflix show. Oh yeah, what was that, that would be called? good. Oh, in the West Wing or whatever. Yeah, no, was, no, I know what you're talking about, but I can't fucking think of, of what that's called. Right, man, we're just uh, we can't remember anything on this episode. But it's people that are watching are like, it's a fucking you idiot. Comment that shit. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Lisa Murkowski in the 2010 Alaska Senate race received significant write-in votes, which led to her winning the election wow. despite not being on the primary ballot. Um, I don't care about that one. Or I got it. Ron Swanson. How about that? <laughs> there you go. In, in the context outside of presidential elections, figures like Sidney Crosby for an all-star game also received very high numbers of write-in votes. Wow. Though this is different from a actual yeah. election no nope, i'm good all right whatever all right next one comes in from chris wells he wants to know what's your biggest pet peeve that's not driving related i fucking hate the toilet seat up yeah that I is a big one with you it. that is a big one with you fucking you hate, hate the toilet seat up uh, yeah motherfuckers gotta be down yeah like do you pee in it with it's down no no so no. you lift it up to pee, well, yeah, and then you put, then it, back put down. it back down. Well, that's just, I mean. Common sense, you'd think. Yeah, but, d- but, but no. what I, blows I, my mind is he doesn't care or actually prefers the toilet paper to go behind. Oh, I don't care anymore. It drives yeah. me nuts. Always I, at his house. I don't like that. Do you flip it? Oh, what? he does every time. Every time. Yeah, I would too. Yeah, every I, time. I usually flip it back. Just, just sure. to piss him off. Just whenever <laughs> he knows I'm coming over, I swear to God, he gets up from his couch, goes into the bathroom, and flips that thing around just to piss me off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll tell you mine. What? People who do not put up their fucking shopping carts after they leave the grocery store. Yeah. It drives me absolutely crazy. I don't. If I see you do it, I'm, I'm, I may say something. It depends, I because I've been that guy before with a, a sick grandma mm-hmm. where I was just like, all right, let's go, and just left it there. I was that guy. There are there are circumstances, I'll, I'll concede to that. But I, no, I mean, if I, yeah. You better be taking her to the hospital in an emergency situation. You get in yeah, the car, start it up, get the climate control going, and then you take that motherfucking cart back to that motherfucking cart place. I think it was raining, though. Oh, I was oh, like, you can't get a little wet. You can't get a little wet. What are I'm you, the saying, Wicked not, Witch of the West or not something? Not everybody that leaves the cart there is a piece of human shit. Most of them are. Some of them are. If it's if you do it, I need I need multiple occurrences of you leaving a cart somewhere yeah. for me to completely hate you. Like if there's a girlfriend or something and every time we go to the store, she's just like, and just pushes it away into nothing. I'm yeah. like, I'm, I would see that as a sign that she's shitty, but oh, uh, people who kill pet squirrels, yeah, Fuck they them. should vote no the, those people out <laughs> right? or vote in whoever decided, <laughs> right? Whatever. All right, uh, everybody, against her. Yep. I don't even know. You don't even know. You oh, don't you have didn't. one. Oh, that's right. You don't even have one. I don't even remember what the question Hecklers. was. Hecklers. Oh, like a pet peeve not related to driving that's really important oh, to you. Nothing upsets Buying me. Buying expensive weed. Nothing? 
I mean, I don't. I every, everything always works out. Hecklers at a comedy contest or people who talk while you're doing comedy. Yeah, that happened a little bit drives over the nuts. weekend. It drives me crazy. It depends on the everything depends. No, no, no. There's it's like, no one way that every that somebody's gonna upset me. You uh, know what I mean? Well, the whole set upset me is whenever you're sitting at a table trying to listen to a, a comedian do his act, and there is a group full of of like sixteen year old girls. Oh, uh, not sorry, not sixteen year old girls, like younger women who are just sitting there having their own fucking conversation while the comedians talk. Yeah, that drives me crazy. That is annoying. Yeah. So anyways. But sorry, it's not I wouldn't say it's my pet peeve. Okay. My pet peeve is like uh <laughs> stinky vagina. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh let's see. Uh next one, uh Dan Jones. He wants to know what is a drinking game to make this election night less painful uh what's a drinking game to make this election night less painful less painful <sighs> no it's gonna be pretty painful no matter what you pick take a drink every time kamala wins a swing state yeah or anytime no. you see donald trump go like this there you go there you have it uh and last but certainly not least mason lind he wants to know what's the worst time to perform a magic trick I mean, I think we all agree on this one, right? <laughs> Is it Maybe. F- funeral? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What is the answer? I, I, I don't know. Like during a blowjob, I don't know. Just like something like, like, oh, that's what's, what's behind your ear. <laughs> like some shit like that. What about you, Fred? Same thing. I was thinking sex. Yeah, sex. <laughs> it's like give you a blow to me, start pulling ribbon out of her mouth. <laughs> oh, how'd that get in there? <laughs> or out of her butt, just sitting there. It's like, oh my god, this won't stop but going. She would have to be in on it in order nah. for the oh, ribbon you can to be deep throat the ribbon, huh? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How about you there? Uh, I, you said funeral. Funeral seems way more inappropriate. Yeah, like you're you, having sex. You're naked. You're already being weird. Yeah, like that's a weird thing. Fake your death and like be in the uh, in the audience of your own funeral. That'd be fucking weird. And then be like, ta da! Yeah, exactly. Take off a, like a like a some kind of disguise. That'd be all right. I would never. Is it illegal to fake your own death? I'm sure. But why? Uh, I don't know. Like it has. It, I mean, there's definitely some legal stuff that go into. it. I don't so. think that it should be. I'm gonna run for oh, okay. the whatever. Whoever decides <laughs> there's, there's that. Your new slogan. Yeah. Come to Wichita, where you can fake your own fake death. your own death. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's questions and preguntas. Thank you guys so much for participating in Monday Funday Check or Monday Friday. You can look for every Friday. Um, I post that. So if you have any suggestions, comment those. And if we like your comment, we will uh, give you a shout out and put it on the show. Yeah. Now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, and for those of you guys keeping track, I fucking won last week. Nice. Woo! woo. I won fair and square. But, I beat Derek and JP. Well, good. I had the best list. But neither of them are here now. So. That's true. But I still get the championship picks, and what, it's not on a technicality. What was the thing last week? Last week was our favorite uh, music albums. Is and, what we did. And what was the big pick? That the big pick that I think won it for me would be Metallica. It'd be the Black Album. Yeah. Yeah. Man, so, that is a good. Yeah, dude. It's like a how, good, good album. How do you not pick that one? But anyways, uh, but thank you guys for voting last week. Um, that means that this week I get the championship picks. Uh, Mike has been here more recently, so he's going to get the sandwich picks. And Fred has not been here uh, in the longest time, so he gets the first overall pick. And, uh, yeah. What? Nothing. Okay. (laughs) Uh, So, anyways, this week's draft, I'm actually kind of pumped about it because I I can't remember. I'm nostalgic about it. Yeah, this is a nostalgic one. This one comes in from Joseph Edward Boussant. 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 Uh, He wants to uh, have us do a draft of our favorite playground, gym, or nostalgic kid games. So when you were in, like, elementary school, you either went out to recess or it was storming outside, and so you had to stay in the gym and have your little fun time, or you had to stay in the classroom and have your little fun time in there, too. So that's what we're drafting here is our favorite activities like that. Okay? 
Fred, you get the first Starting overall pick. Starting off strong. Yeah, dude. I mean, I think I've got to take dodgeball for yeah, the first one. Yeah, that's the number one. Got to take it. You, mm. No matter how bad I sucked, that one time I smacked somebody in the face was worth it. It was. And and that's uh, that's <clears> like one of those situations where you can actually hear a picture. It's the picture of those red rubber balls. Oh, man. Yeah. You, you know Boom. what they sound like. Hitting a face. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's Fucking great. Those were fun, dude. They were. All right, Mike, you get your first pick. What do you got? Uh, well, if we're counting the classroom also, okay. then I got to go heads up, Damn seven it. up. That's Ooh, one I was, was going to go. One. Yeah, I'm I was going to take that. Dang it. That sucks. <clears throat> All right. So for my first overall pick, I'm going to go with four square. Okay. I did really like playing Foursquare. I never because of all the rules that you had to you, that came with it. You when like you were the, that? Yeah, yeah making when, them up as you go. Yeah, when you were when you were the king or the or the A square, whatever you guys like to call it, whoever was in charge would say their own rules that they wanted. So like, no cherry bombs, no shoe shiners, no you right. know all of that stuff, and that was fun. I really liked Foursquare. So that's that's, me. that's sort of like Dungeons and Dragons y, you know? It kinda is. Where it's like if I do this, then I'm throwing fire at you. Yeah, that's that's true. Spot on. Um all right. So the next one, dang it. Um I'm gonna go uh it they were the gym obstacle courses. Did you ever do that? Inside? It was inside. Uh, it, we, our, our PE teacher like set it all up and he acted like he was like a mad scientist and you were trying to sneak and go through all of the obstacles and shit. So you had like, you know, uh, you had to like run through like fucking ropes and shit like that. So yeah, it was, it was an obstacle course though. All right. I so, don't really remember yeah, that, we but didn't do that one. I'll see if I can find some pictures. Cause it was pretty dope. He turned the lights off and, and then whenever, uh, he would make, somebody would make a noise, he would turn on his flashlight and if he saw you moving he would tell you you're you got to start back over it that was just a lot sounds of like a weird old it was, man it was it was kind of weird but it was awesome. just trying to uh entertain a bunch of fucking seven-year-olds or whatever yes, right but it was legitimate was one of my favorite if you went to school at gammon elementary in wichita kansas you know exactly what i'm fucking talking about so all right mike what do you got uh second pick the parachute yeah damn it that's good that was the other one I was going to take, too. Forgot about that one. Yeah. We, we used to get, uh, I guess now you would say sexually assaulted, but at the time I never really thought about it. But we would take, everybody's in a circle with right. the parachute. We're waving it all around. And then there was a part where we would like put it up over our heads so uh -huh. we're all inside the right. parachute. And then the gym teacher would run around and just kind of like tickle Tick, everybody like, yeah. and like pinch butts and stuff <laughs> yeah. like that. I can specifically remember getting my butt pinched That's by. Bam. But it was never like, ooh, that seemed unnecessary. It was right. just like, ew, the monster is outside the parachute. So, yeah. <laughs> but still, like all of these things, now now that we talk about them as adults, it's like, we just had a weird fucking gym yeah. teacher. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was yeah, like, dude. I'm going to make these kids run in circles, oh, yeah. and then I'm going to pinch their butts. All right. How about you, Fred? Oh, back to back here? Yep. You get two uh, in a row. This one was, it was a fun one before it, it became trendy and it didn't have a name when I used to do it, but Floor is Lava. Floor is lava. On the, on the jungle gym, you couldn't touch the rocks. Yeah, yeah. I remember doing that shit. Absolutely. That's why you got hurt a lot, but yeah. it's fun as shit. Yeah, because you had to jump all over the jungle oh, yeah, gym. Oh, all over the jungle gym. That's right. Yeah. Jump from like the monkey bars yes. to the swing. Oh, the yeah. Swing. yeah catching, the, catching a chain over, in yeah. midair. That's right. How would you ever get hurt doing that? Yeah, yeah I know, right? Well, fuck it. Who cares? All right. And you get one more in a row. Uh, Man, I mean, I think... um. Younger days, it was a lot of fun, that red light, green light. Red light, green light. Heck yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. All right, Mike. What's that show, that Netflix show called, where they do red light, green light? Oh, Squid, Squid, Squid Game. Games. Squid Game. Yeah. That was good, yeah. except for the end where they played Squid Game, because I was like, what the fuck even is this? I don't know. I never Everything leading show. up to that was good, but then I was like, now you're just playing a game that I don't even know what it is. Yeah. No, I never watched that show. Uh, all right, Mike, you get one. What do you got? Uh, uh, uh kickball. God damn it. That was the one I was Ooh, waiting for. Shit. Oh, uh, you suck. I used to Babe Ruth it in kickball, dude. Oh, fuck yeah. Be like, this one's going over the fence. Well, you could you could either play it outside or we played it inside in the gym. Yeah. And the thing was, is if you hit it off of the, like, the, 
the very rafters. Top, yeah, the rafters. It was a home run. Fuck yeah. It was awesome. That was yeah. always good shit. Same ball as dodgeball. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It is. And uh, the, that same boom. Yep. When you feel like, yep. Nice. All right. Uh, I'm going to go uh, with, uh, I'm going to go with wiffle ball. Wiffle ball was uh, my science teacher's like way to get out of doing actual science class. It was like, it's just like, play wiffle ball. Hey, let's just go out and play wiffle ball because he was a PE teacher that got moved to science. And uh, he, that was that was kind of our thing. Uh, so, yeah, I, uh, I like wiffle ball. Wiffle ball is fun. Okay, what else? Okay, uh, I'm going to take this one. This one's a little bit younger, but I'm going to go with duck, duck, goose. That's fine. Take you don't. It. You didn't like that one. Uh, it, it was too much uh, running. Oh yeah, but it was legit. You I, got, you'd always pick the person who like you either had a crush on or something like that. It was kind of flirty, but then it was also you'd pick your best friend and just try to fucking take him out before he sat down. <laughs> I loved it. All right, Mike, you get one. What do you got? I'm glad that you said the one you just said because it wouldn't. I would not have thought of this one, but now it seems very obvious. Musical chairs. Musical Ooh. chairs. That's a good fucking list you got there, dude. Because that one, I can definitely see me and a, a best friend just 100 percent effort yes. trying to physically keep the other guy yes. out of the chair. Oh, dang it! Good that's, memories that's of good. that. That's good. That's good. Fred, you get the last two. Last two. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this one out of my ass. Okay. Uh, smear the queer. Yeah. <laughs> I don't that know. Was, Do you think we could put that on our list and it get taken down on Facebook? I don't know. Actually, smear the I don't know. Uh, yeah, smear the cigarette. There you go. <laughs> or just spell it with a K. Yeah. There you okay. go. K W E A R. Okay, I like that. Queer. Uh, and Quit then you get clear. right, and then you get mm. one more. Oh man, God! I know there's a million of them, but I'm just too dumb to remember. Mm. But uh, the you only one coming to mind. Yeah, I mean, I'll take it. I'm gonna lose already to Mike's list, so we're just gonna take Red Rover. Yeah, Red Rover was was uh, one just I kind of played had. it a lot. And can remember, and it. every single time you played it, somebody got fucking hurt. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're clotheslining people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you and your buddy here at the last minute. Moving your hands yeah. up higher so they do get clotheslined. We never, we didn't play that a lot. I don't know. My gym must have just been safer than your guys. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, yours was hands on, <laughs> right? right? I know. Feeling, well, yeah. I mean, yeah, it was definitely more uh, uh, okay, salty. But all right, what's your last pick there, Mike? Um, let's see here. I'm debating between. Does any? Um, do you still have a pick left? Yeah, I got one more pick. Do you already know what it is in your head? Ooh, he'll change I, I'm, it. Yeah, good, I'm, Save I, it for I'm going. Bonus round. I'm going. Okay. I have two. I have two that I can kind of go back and forth with. But um, well, if we're just talking generic things that kids can do to entertain themselves, mm -hmm. I I want to just say swings. Yeah, that's fine. That that that's that's good. I was like the swing with set the, with the jump off contest, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Or like me, you could you can just lean back and do a backflip, and it would be and flip out. Of yeah, the flip album. out of it. Yeah. yeah, I've more than once I caught a, a foot on a on the chain. Oh, did you, you know really? what I mean? <laughs> Both jumping out like trying to Superman out of it, and then it just catches the back of my ankle and like okay. yeah. There, I lost. I like lost all oxygen in my body more than once because of swings. Gotcha. Just landing flat on my chest. Where? Oh yeah. You're just like Ugh. for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Good memories. Okay. I I, got, I do have a question because I said this phrase to my wife when we were driving, and she had never heard of this before. But when you're on the swings and you're going the same speed of the person that's swinging next to you, we used to always say, hey, get out of my bathtub to try to get them to slow down or speed up so you're not in it. Never did that. Never heard Never that. Heard okay, that. guess it was just kind of my thing. But it was we were driving home, and there were two cars. Nobody was passing anybody, and I made the comment. It's uh -huh. like, get out of the bathtub. And she's like, what the fuck are you talking about? And that's what it was. Well, so, now I'm going to call it that because yeah. that happens with on the highway yes, a lot. it drives me nuts. Oh, dude, it pisses me off. It does. I hate when someone. Found his pet peeve. There, but it's driving. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah. Shit. See, yeah, that is a pet peeve of mine. Is just 
not being aware yes. of your surroundings, Same. you know? Yep. Somebody will be riding my ass in the left lane. I'll get over, and they will get behind me. It drives me yep. nuts. And I'm like, for dude, no I reason. sped up for you so you could pass me, <laughs> not so you could just ride. Uh. Yeah. Okay. My last pick, I, I again think this is going to be along the lines of uh, my obstacle course thing. Um, did anybody uh, ever play Topple the Can? No, I don't know no. what that is. So there were my school had money. So yeah, <laughs> so there would be uh, three construction cones oh, that have um, Pringles cans sitting on top of them, and then you had the balls that were kind of yarny. Okay. Okay. Or it, it, they were harder yarn, and you would have to throw and knock over the opposing team's cans, and whoever knocked them all down won. And then you. No. Set him back up and play again. All right. That does not games. Huh? My gym teacher was awesome. Okay. <laughs> he was legit cool. And he, I guess he thought up all of this shit himself. And it's great. So that's uh, last pick. Do we have any honorable mentions? I just thought of King of the Hill. King of the Hill. I don't know if I ever played that one. That's what you have to have a hill. I mean, we use a jungle gym or a post. Or oh, and you had slide. to defend it? Yeah, you had to defend oh, okay, yeah. it. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, capture yeah. the flag. That would have been a yeah. good one. Yeah. Capture the flag would have oh, been a good dude, one. I forgot about all that kind of stuff. I'll, I'll allow you to change your last answer to capture the flag I'm if good. you want to take down that stupid whatever topple shit that no, you said I that think I, nobody's I, ever heard of. I really do think that that, uh, that may be more my generation than not yours. Me and you are a little bit closer to each other's age, but I think you're a little bit further down that. I don't know if you would have. I was a class of 99 guy. Okay. What are you guys? 06. Three. You fucking kids. <laughs> you kids and your music. We had, did you ever have like an outdoor field day? Yeah. Where like. Uh, They'd take you to pick cotton. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, but that was more obstacle course. Yes. Where you would do like the three-legged yes. race and the, yeah. the bag race yeah. where you're inside a bag hopping and shit. I don't remember what it was called, if it was called field day or not. But it was like it was like the Olympics for kids. Yeah. it had Everybody had their own events. Like you had long jump. You had right. uh, the rings and shit like that. And people oh got God. medals and stuff. I don't know if yeah. they were real. Maybe we just got like certificates or something. I don't think I... I ever won any of that shit i was never the af oh, athletic no. i was kid, the but. athletic kid but they they would uh they would have a contest at the middle of the year and it would be to create the button that everybody would wear for that field day i kind of remember that okay yeah. yeah dude oh man this is some nostalgic shit sorry hope hope we're not boring you guys to death no uh, i but, i like nostalgia i love this stuff that's We'd, so awesome we did a thing called exchange city did you guys ever have an equivalent of that in kansas city it was called exchange city and every kid in sixth grade got assigned a job and you would go to this building that was designed like a little town there was like a little central park grass area that you weren't allowed to walk on and like a bank and a store and a radio station and whatever else and and, and a little uh, like a government thing yeah and every kid had a different job. We, we got to, the, one was the mayor, one was a police, police officer. officer firefighter. I got to be the radio DJ. That's cool. And it's just a big field trip. You go and spend the whole day and you get money and you can spend it on oh, that's cool. shit there. And it was fun. Yeah, that does sound like actually kind of fun. But I anyway. thought every, I assumed every town had an equivalent of we that. We never did anything no, like that. Did. did not. Cool. Put it in the comments. There what you did go. you do as kids Actually, on field trips? And yes, shit? put in the comments as well. Like if we miss something, put in the comments of what you would have picked. That's uh, that's kind of the whole point of the comment section of uh, YouTube, anyways. Uh, but that is this week's draft. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for your favorite list of I don't know recess activities, gym activities, and nostalgia stuff that you would do. Kid At, games. Kid games. Yeah. Physical uh, kid games. Yeah, that's fine. That we'll go with that. I'll figure out what to call it. I guess he'll <laughs> call, call it physical kid. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Heads up, Seven Up isn't that physical. I guess. But no, but it's you know that was fun though too. Yeah, especially in sixth grade because I I was. Uh, sexually attracted to my teacher that's weird bro and it was cool when <laughs> she would touch my, touch my thumb touch my hand and be like <laughs> oh God, her that, hands feel so, so soft she was uh, cute you can also go to x which is at lot sidelines and vote there as well and whoever wins doesn't get anything so that's that 
Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines, shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines, shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang and ladies and gentlemen, Mike Baldwin. MikeIsFunny.com. There you go. Check it out. Comedy special for free. And Fred. Yeah. I don't, I don't have a website. Yeah, isn't yes. it uh, MikeIsFunny.com? Slash Clayton. Check out oh, Fred. Uh, dot org. <laughs> dot, org. Dot, org. dot org. You're a Mike is Funny <laughs> organization. There you go. Uh, but yes, uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I like this, this uh, shitty situation. Uh, it is going to be Would You Rather? Get clothesline playing Red Rover, Red Rover, or what was the other one? Get oh, get hit dodge. in the face with a rubber dodgeball. Can can we up the ante a little yeah, bit? Yeah, what do you got? Like Red Rover, you're playing against like an offensive line. <laughs> oh, you're making it like you're, worse. Yeah, and then and then the like the Nolan do- Ryman. Uh, okay, Nolan, Nolan Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, okay, like, or like uh, someone that can throw and someone that can clothesline you. Yeah, like um, okay, Shohei Otani is throwing a dodgeball at your face. Yeah, I, I'll still take a dodgeball, <laughs> dude. Really? Yeah, at least I'm not getting. Well, I say that, but I guess I would get knocked to the ground in both circumstances. Probably. <laughs> yes. probably. Yes. But still, it just seems like the dodgeball is less painful. I don't know, dude. That thing, That's, it the, the rubber, face the, hurts. the rubber dodgeball, but it would, just forms around your face. That's the point of the rubber dodgeball: is I've that it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't have the inertia to, to go through, right? Yeah, but it's more of like a like a slap, it, yes. like a hard slap. Correct. And and I'll take that of oh. what, over being shoved violently to the ground. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want to be home alone. Do you know? Like horizontal yeah, to the ground. Yeah, you're right. I yeah. I'm taking. I'm taking the dodgeball. I've seen kids like I remember kids like ending up with bloody noses and stuff like yeah, that yeah. from them and welts. Yo, yeah, yeah. Like I saw some like dodgeball shaped yeah. welts yeah. on people's sides and oh, stuff. Yeah. The freaking ripples that, of the ball, pattern. yeah, that pattern. Yep, yep, absolutely. But yeah, I think, yeah, I uh, if it were Jason Kelsey and Travis Kelsey, I'm trying to run through. That's a bad day. So I think I, I'm gonna try it. You're going to try it? I think it? I'm going to try it. <laughs> oh. see, if, see if I'm fast enough to duck under or... Oh, man, you're crazy. Yeah. I mean, I like my face, though. I like my face, too, but I think there's a better chance of you having your face still if it, you get hit with the dodgeball than if you nah. run right into it. <laughs> nah. Well, tune in next week when we'll be doing we'll both of those out. things. Yeah. yeah, exactly. The Kelsey <laughs> brothers will be yeah. here. We're going to hang out with Travis and Jason Kelsey and see if uh, they can take Fred's head off. Bring it on, yeah. bitches. Uh, but thank you guys very, very much. I sincerely do appreciate Trav- Travis Kelsey. I almost <laughs> said it. <laughs> That's My, next week, so right. sorry. sorry. Uh, Mike Baldwin and Fred, thank you guys both very much. Thanks for having me. Sincerely yeah. appreciate it. And thank all of you guys out there. Sincerely sure. do appreciate you for guys, sure. especially all of the new followers that are coming over and uh, listening to us um, on Instagram. Um, yeah, keep sharing our stuff. We keep growing, uh, and I really do appreciate all of you out there. TikTok still hates us. Yes, we do know that a whole bunch of people are stealing our sounds still and getting credit for it. It sucks. Um, all you can do is report them and see if it goes because a lot of those uh, channels that are stealing our stuff, they have us blocked, which is ridiculous. They're, they're blocking us and taking our, our content and using it as the sound. I've, I've gotten several messages from people where it's like yeah. a video of a dude just playing, playing like video. Call yeah. of oh, Duty yeah. or whatever. GTA yeah. or and Call of Duty. And people are like, is this your voice like, talking about balls or whatever? Yeah, that is us. Sure is. Totally is. Yeah, it's it fucking thieves, dude. Because they they're making money off of they that are. shit. Yeah. Yeah. They, you yeah. make money off of clicks. Yeah, and they mm-hmm. have more followers than we do. Yeah. So It's them. that whole, what was that guy's name years ago that was doing the same thing? Like stealing oh, I don't know. people's jokes i i if i remember his name but i don't want to say it but okay. i'll tell it to you after okay sounds good uh well guys i we sincerely do appreciate it. thank you guys so very much um as we always like to say guys do us a favor if you like us tell your friends if you don't like us i hope somebody tries to steal your bicycle <laughs> 
If you don't like us, tell, tell your, your enemies. enemies. And until next time, guys, uh, d- don't hold homemade fireworks in your hands, you <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> until next time, keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care.